So let's talk about Brawl for a minute. Um, there's always the comparison made that it's Commander Light, that it's, it's, um, it's a format that's kind of like a stopgap for Commander. And unfortunately, it's a format that these days is pretty much exclusively played on Arena. It's not played in real life. Although, the deck that I have currently on screen is one that I actually did build in real life. I've been playing Brawl. It's kind of funny to think that it's a, it's just like some casual throwaway format, but my first Brawl deck was actually Vona from uh, Ixalan, or Rivals of Ixalan, I can't remember. The first Ixalan side, Ixalan. Um, and it was a white-black control deck. It was cool, it was mid-rangey, it, it did things. I, I liked it. I don't remember playing it too... Com I don't remember if there were even Brawl tournaments at the time, but I do remember playing it and having a lot of fun with it. Uh, and it was a deck that I had built in real life. And then this deck I built online uh, years later, the Storev deck, um, that of Ark and Lich brings creatures back from the graveyard. Um, so he's kind of cool with cards like Pilfering Imp that doesn't see... You've probably never heard of this card before. Uh, it's effectively a duress on a stick. Um, Primal my or Spark Harvest, so I can get my own creatures, uh, just sacrifice them myself. The Burglar Rats, the discard. Uh, Dread Horror. Don't even remember what's in this. Order at Midnight. Piper. Oh, because I have some rats going. Tribal Rats. That's kind of cool. Priest of Forgotten Gods. I guess I'm running a Sacrifice. I guess I'm running a list of cats. The Fen Lurker, um, which again is another discard outlet. The Ramp, the Incubation Druid, Once Upon a Time, Paradise Druid, Scooze, because that's just, I mean, it's great. Assassin Trophy is good removal. Signet, as always. Leyline Prowler, Thrashing Bronodon is utility, and you can get it back with Storev. District Guide is Land Search. Aria, my lady. Um, yeah, for more removal, or more um, sacrifice. Murder Rider, Playcrafter, Midnight Reaper, so I get some advantage off of it. Davriel, going with the discard theme. Uh, Price of Fame, because this card is just... This was bonkers in the wall, because they, they were always playing a legendary creature. Rankle, so good. Uh, Veraska, Deathsprout. One of my all-time favorite split cards, Status and Stature. S status and Statue, excuse me. Uh, it does does everything you want it to do. And then Find and Finality, good double removal spell. Um, Liliana, the top end. Garuk, another great top end. Casualties of War, you know what this is all about. Beanstalk Giant, and the Great Henge, and a bunch of lands. So this is one of my early Brawl decks. Um, I'm going to move to another one, the Big Pig. Um, this is this is obviously during Zendikar, um, with the Asharn. I'm not going to go over every card, but it was kind of a denial -y thing. you got cards like Nihiri's Binding that you don't see outside of Brawl. Um, yeah, some other Root Razor. Oh man, this brings back some memories. Great Henge again. ECD. What else did we have? There's one other deck I wanted to look at too. Oh yes, the Moon Dancer deck. Um, I love this deck for the Forgotten Realms era with Shilasara, the Moon Dancer, who effectively is just a really good at Johnny's Chosen or a Johnny's Pragmate. Um, it's funny to see there's actually cards that are still legal in this. Um, this might have been one of the later versions. Paladin Class. Pretty much you just play a lot of creatures that gain you life, and, and she kind of went went crazy. This is actually the later version. I think there was another... Oh yeah, it's only 40 out of 60 cards. There was a different version of this deck at one point. Anyway, the point that I kind of wanted to get to is that comparing Brawl to Commander is kind of a moot point. It kind of... It's kind of like comparing heads-up poker to, like, you know, a standard poker table. Because in Brawl, you're only ever facing one opponent. And you have a much more limited card base than you do for any commander or even historic Brawl. So the decks are a lot tighter. Like, as you've seen in the last few... I mean, in the last few videos is that I've been playing other decks. But when you're playing Black, it's kind of like you're forced into playing Cut Down, Go for the Throat, Infernal Grasp. Uh, Shielded Zedek, wherever that is. Shielded Zedek. Because those cards are just so good. They're so powerful. They fit that power suite. Uh, Reckoner Bankbuster. Uh, yeah, every deck is playing Reckoner Bankbuster. Arcane Signet, of course, is like the, the, the necessary evil of the format. The card created for the format. So that's kind of one that just you're always going to see 
Fable of the Mirror Breaker, another one that if you're playing red, you have to be playing it. And that's going to be true for every Brawl deck that's got red in it. Um, I'm going to say, go into like a white deck, going with like Sigarda, or whatever. The fact that um, one of the more powerful cards, that I, it's, it's in Commander, in my Commander deck at least, is the Ambitious Farmhand. So it just replaces itself. It's just phenomenal. So, that's, the point I'm trying to make though is that I'm playing Brawl because I enjoy it, and because it's, it isn't Commander Light. It's a different format. It sees the best cards from Standard distilled into a deck that's kind of like Commander, but it's not Commander. And I want to say it's unfair to compare it to Commander, as it's one-on-one -on -one play, and the card pool is much more limited. So the decks feature the greatest hits of Standard. Like, I was thinking it's it's not like you're going to see a bunch of five or six drop creatures that you never see. They're just kind of worthless. You're seeing cards that do see constructive play at most points. Um, sure, like looking at Sigarda, the Initiate, he sees play and constructed. Lay Down Arms, it's the best removal spell currently for white in the format. Um, Soul Perdition's up there too. I'm not playing it. I probably should be. Uh, Tamiya Safekeeping, I played it in sideboards in real life. Tyber Stand is saw play. We can go down the list. Destroy Evil. Oh, multi-format play. Um, Fateful Absence. I mean, it's white. Okay, I lied. There is some really good white removal. Um, but these these are all cards that pretty much... Like, you, you know the names. There's a few that you might not. Um, King Darian, I, had to, I didn't know what he did. He's not something that sees play in any other format, but seems fine. 2-3 Two, Anthem for 3. Meets, meets the bar, probably above it. In the Trenches, I don't think I saw a ton of play, but... You read what it does, you respect the power. Wedding announcement, sure. Um, Wandering Emperor, Sarah Paragon. Team Scar Warrior, I don't know if he's seen play yet, but definitely can can get there. So, you know, I think Brawl doesn't get a fair shake. I think it's rough. I think it's, uh, it's a format that isn't completely... Like, it's not looked upon very well, but it's a fun format. I think you should give it a try. Uh, maybe maybe you'll see your name as one of my opponents sometimes, too. So That's it. That's just a brief discussion of Brawl. Like I said, I enjoy it. I don't. Sometimes there's periods where I don't play it for a while, but right now, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, clearly, Rona is my favorite deck, um, by the sheer number of games that I play with her. I've got a few others, though. I've got Mishra, I've got Urza, that, that kind of served me back onto the Brawl path before Rona came out. Um, I've got a you know, a Heliod deck that I don't play because it's not very good, but I love Heliod. He's my man. Uh, Sigarda and Aria. So, expect more Brawl content. Don't call a commander. Thanks for watching.